friends, welcome to our Mathematics Student Support Program for Grade 7. Today, you will learn about solving an equation involving additive inverse, multiplicative inverse, equation with more than one operation, and equation involving brackets. Each part of a program will be followed by some exercises for you to practice. So let's begin. Solving equations involving the additive inverse. Solving an equation means finding that value of x which will make the statement true. For example, let's solve x plus 4 is equal to 7. On the left hand side we have x plus 4 and on the right hand side we have 7. To find the value of x we need to eliminate 4. And in order to do so, we add the additive inverse of 4, that is, minus 4 on both sides. Recall that to keep the scale balance, whatever we do on one side, we have to do the same thing on the both sides of the equal to sign. Now, to eliminate plus 4, I need to add minus 4 on both sides, which is the additive inverse of 4 we get x plus 4 minus 4 is equal to 7 minus 4 which gives 3. x is equal to 3 is the solution of the equation x plus 4 is equal to 7. Always keep the good habit of checking your solution. If we substitute the value of x by 3 on the left hand side we will obtain 7 which is the same as the right hand side. Therefore, the statement is true for x is equal to 3. Let's have a look at the second equation. y minus 9 is equal to 19. We need to eliminate minus 9 by adding the additive inverse of minus 9 which is plus 9. Therefore, we get y minus 9 plus 9 is equal to 19 plus 9 and your answer is y is equal to 28. Again, you can check your solution by substituting the value of y by 28 on the left hand side, 28 minus 9 which is equal to 19, therefore the statement is true. Here is an exercise for you to practice on additive inverse. Let's move on to multiplicative inverse. Solving equations involving the multiplicative inverse. To eliminate the coefficient 5 in this equation, we need to multiply both sides of the equation by the multiplicative inverse of 5, that is 1 over 5. Multiplying 1 over 5 on both sides, we will get x is equal to minus 7. Let's have a look at the second example. Minus x over 7 is equal to 2. To eliminate minus 1 over 7, we need to multiply minus 7 on both sides. Therefore, your answer is x is equal to minus 14. Here is an exercise for you on multiplicative inverse. Let's move on to solving equations involving more than one operation. For example, 3x plus 5 is equal to 20. The left hand side is 3x plus 5. Let's create a flowchart to build up the left hand side. We start from x. To get 3x, we need to multiply it by 3. Now, to get 3x plus 5, I need to add 5 with 3x. Now, this gives us the left-hand side. 
Let's study the right hand side now. We have 20. Now we we'll go back. If we have added plus 5 above, to eliminate it, we are going to subtract 5. That is the additive inverse of plus 5. 20 minus 5, we get 15. Now, if above we were multiplying by 3, now we are going to eliminate it by multiplying by its multiplicative inverse, which is 1 third. Therefore, 15 multiplied by 1 third is 5. The solution of 3x plus 5 is equal to 20 is x is equal to 5. It is not convenient to draw a flowchart. So, let's look at method 2. Solve 2x minus 8 is equal to 10. Now, to eliminate minus 8, we add 8 on both sides. We get 2x is equal to 18. Now, to eliminate 2 on the left-hand side, we multiply both sides by half. And the solution is x is equal to 9. Always keep the good habit of checking your answer. Substitute the value of 9 in the equation. 2 multiply by 9 minus 8, you will get 10. Therefore, your solution is correct. Here is an exercise for you to practice. Now, let's move on solving equations involving brackets in the form of m into x plus a is equal to b. For example, we have 2 into a plus 7 is equal to 16. Method 1, we are going to use distributive law. We expand the left-hand side. 2 multiply by a, 2 multiply by 7. We get 2a plus 14 is equal to 16. Now we need to eliminate plus 14 by subtracting 14 on both sides. We get 2a is equal to 2. To eliminate the coefficient 2 on the left-hand side, we multiply both sides by half. And the answer is a is equal to 1. Second method is we eliminate the coefficient 2 first. To eliminate 2, we multiply it by half. We get a plus 7 is equal to 8. Now to eliminate plus 7, we subtract 7 on both sides. And the answer is a equal to 1. Here is an exercise for you to practice. You can check these interesting links. Therefore, we have talked about solving an equation involving additive inverse and multiplicative inverse. Also, we have talked about how to solve equations involving more than one operation. And we have talked about solving equations involving brackets. You are advised to work out the exercises with your friends, teachers or parents. Hope you have enjoyed our program. Till next time, it's goodbye.